Boxing Voice. BoxingVoice.com here with Brian Bye Bye Jennings. Brian, what does it mean to be a Philadelphia fighter? Uh, it, it means it means a lot. Uh, to be a Philadelphia fighter, you know, you definitely have to fight. You have to fight for the fans. We have a tough, tough group of fans. Uh, tough city to please, and you know, so we have to do the extra. We had to go the extra mile because, you know, winning just not enough. So we we have to do some extra things, some spectacular things. Uh, we have to sound great, look great, feel great, and you know, we just have to please our people. So, uh, you know. We do it. We do it well, and 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 if we do it well enough to please the people, then that's just automatic. Just that's 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 king on the throne type stuff. Now we're here tonight in AC for you know Jesse Hart from Philly, up and coming prospect, and Glenn Tapia. I gotta ask you about a fight that's taking place in a little more than a month: Bernard Hopkins versus WBO champ Sergey Kovalev. What do you think of that fight? Uh, I th I think that's a great fight, and that's uh I, th I think I would want Bernard to uh to call it quiz after this, you know, it's kind of like, it's, it's a scary situation for me. Um, you know, just, just being how, how much I respect Bernard and all that. And he's done, he's done, he's done great so far, but it's kind of like, okay, all right, you done enough. Don't go back out there. And then he come back out with the win as he always do, or he come back out with a beautiful performance and just be like, all right, look, man, just, I right, just stop. All right, I, I, please, I'm, I'm, you done it. You done enough. I don't, because it kind of gets a little more scarier, uh, cause he's the alien. It's like, it's something he always does. He always does things that's, you know, that's unheard of. So, you know, fighting at the age of 50 is unheard of. So it's just like, it's okay for it's okay for people to think like the way I'm thinking uh, because it's, it's it's a positive way of thinking. It's just like all right, you did a lot, man. It's like it's like I mean, once he gets past this, it's just like look, man. I'm, I'm gonna raise my hand. I was like, look, I, I I ain't got nothing to say, you know, because it's it's just spectacular what he's done so far. And at the age of 50, come on, taking on a guy, taking on a guy like Kovalev. Um, what I actually would think what happened in the fight is. Um, I would, I would think that Kovalev would try to be smart, and Kovalev trying to be smart will waste majority of the rounds, and then he, Kovalev may get desperate. I don't know how, how serious a desperate Kovalev could be, but that could be very dangerous for Bernard, but at the end of the day, Bernard would have won th at least three quarters of the fight, and the last quarter of the fight would, would make the difference between to see if Kovalev can actually have some precision with his, desperate, with his, with his uh, disparity, and but no, I'm just gonna continue to do what he's doing, and you know, hopefully he can, you know, continue to house smart him as he would do, as he would have done in the beginning rounds, and come out with the win. Because um, Kovalev's gonna try to be smart. He's not gonna try to, you know, do too much. He's gonna try to think. Because Bernard could definitely make you look bad, and Kovalev's gonna be, he's gonna be afraid to be, you know, looked at that, that that way. Switching gears a little bit. In your last fight. You really adjust in the second half, which you know helped you beat Irish Mike Perez, slick southpaw, good fighter, has some good wins under his belt. How did you do that, and what did you see in him that you know made you be able to make adapt and win the fight? Uh, I think that was just the point of that was I was at the point of acceleration. Um, yo, what up? Yeah, I was at the point of acceleration, and uh, that's 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 just the way I've been I've been going my whole career. Um, and and he, he he didn't really have. He didn't really. He didn't really. He didn't really do nothing for real, for real. And I watched. I watched the fight over and over and over again. And for them to say, you know, after the third round, for them to say dominated, they're just like, are you fucking kidding me? It's just like all the highlights are on him. You know, I, I, I keep looking for. I keep looking for photos where as though, where, where as though a glove is literally landed on my face. And I've never really seen that photo. And if and if anybody has that photo, can you please show it to me? I've seen photos where as though I was in a. I was in a reaction of it, but you never caught. The camera never caught the glove on my face, as if you've seen hundreds, hundreds of pictures of me, you know, catching people in their face. But you know, um, that word domination. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the people who really wanted him to win so bad, but just felt as though whatever he was doing was enough to be called dominant. But after, after you look at it, after it all settled, you look at it and just like I know they saying to themselves, "Well, damn, I was tripping." So, can't wait to see your next fight. Thank you. Boxing Voice.